welcome this is the energy vibration reading for the month of may i want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back thank you for the wonderful positive energies that is coming up for the month of may i have changed up um location okay so may the month of may what does that has to do with everything that is going on around us the month of May is going to be having to do with the energy of strength okay so a lot of us have to find in a strength to deal with situation that is happening around us okay so um, for you guys I'm definitely definitely hoping um, that the energy that is coming up is very positive for you guys because there is a lot that is going on okay and the energy of strength is here for this month and this is a fire energy so um, you have to be aware and realize what is happening I want to say thank you um, to each and every person out there who has been supporting my channel um, and for all the people that has been coming back the weekly readings are going to be continued after um, this but um, I had to get back on track because I was way way behind in a lot of things because of my computer uh, my t um, technical problems that I was having um, thank you so much thank you for the wonderful um, supports um, please like share these videos let me know what's happening in your life leave a message I love you Aquarians so much because um, um, you guys are just so wonderful people I can really 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 um, get along with you Aquarians so um, the readings and I felt uh, um, the energy is changing around us with especially with the readings um and um these readings not everything applies to you guys so you have to be aware of that um sometimes it applies sometimes it doesn't apply so it depends on who you are what is your energy vibration and what is basically happening okay i have to turn the camera like this because of i'm uploading so please leave a message let me know how things are going and um what's happening for you guys um as we say it's um this month is going to be the energy of strength so we're going to be looking and um, trying to figure out what is happening in the lives of the aquarians um in this month and um uh i wanted to show the cards and also show my face but we're going to be seeing how that is going to be working out because i hate showing the cards in a reverse position so um May May is a beautiful month, so we're calling up on the angels and guides for the Aquarian Sun, Moon, and Rising sign, um, the Ascendance Masters, all legions of angels, positive lights, love beams, um, come in for the Aquarians to see what is happening. So in the month of May, we have another um, four weeks. So in the four, four, first week, there is the energy of. Uh, the chariot this is movement that is going to be transpiring it's also a fire energy so some of you Aquarians could be coming out of a situation this is more of a sense of movement this is more of a sense of a situation maybe with your car and that sort of a situation that is working out so we are definitely going to be um, checking out where and what is it aligning with as we move forward in the second week we have the energy of the hurt that is coming up so this is good in the second week for you Aquarians because you're air sign um, and uh, um, towards the end in which is the, the next the third week there will be changes but um, in the second week you have to find inner guidance and balance whatever this that is transparent for you Aquarians you really have to find inner guidance and balance third week for you Aquarians is going to be the best um, this is your own energy vibration. So what else, whatever is happening to you, Aquarians, the third week is going to be a very, very supporting week that is going to be helping you to move forward. Let's look at the energy. In the fourth week, we have the energy of the devil. So whatever the, the situation is, you're beginning the month with fire and you're ending the month with fire. So be aware and aligned with these fire energies when they're coming up to see what exactly is transpired and how is this affecting you because these fire energies is a sense of there are some um deceptive 
things it could be you being deceptive or it could be that you're dealing with deceptive people um, at this time okay so here we um, return the card in the deck and we're going to be finding out what exactly is going on so it is a month of movement okay it's a month of movement and it's a month of where you're trying to make things happen for yourself um, it is definitely a month of movement that is transpiring so um, let's um, basically um, I'm gonna try and turn the camera so that the camera um, can um, pick up the energy of the cards um, let me see if that is working yes but I really don't really like to show you guys the energies from the sideways for some reason I just think that it is just not but anyway let's see how um, this is definitely going to go and plus I have a glass table this that doesn't really help all right so as we move forward let's see what is coming out in the first week going in the second week for you Aquarians first week going in the second week um, we have this energy that is coming out new love is coming um, in for you guys I hope you can see this so um, first week is uh, um, going into second week is that new love is coming in now this person could be a Leo um, or a um, Virgo so for some people it might be a Leo for some people it might be a Virgo but this is a good energy that is coming in because definitely what you're seeing here what is transpiring is that definitely new love is coming in then we have the energy that you have to make a decision because some of you could be the signed in um, whether or not you're going to um, be with a Virgo or your own air sign which is an Aquarian so um, whatever the situation is is that there um, as to me some decision has to be made in the second week going in the third week is as if um, it has to do with love um, it could be something that is coming in and it has to do with love so um, you yourself have to be deciding what it is and um, what you're about to do okay the end of a situation is coming in the energy of the star is here and the end of a situation is coming in and what this is basically saying is that whoever need to make this decision will make the right decision and the third week going in the fourth week the third week is going to be um, your best week first week and third week is definitely going to be your best week some of you in the fourth week you're going to be ending a situation that has been going on and that has been transpiring in your life for a very long time you're definitely cutting the situation out and ending the situation because you know it no longer serves you and this is best for you to do now with the ace of cups um, and making a decision you're working with the king of Pentacles now whoever this king of Pentacles is is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn now this could be coming up as your father or a father figure that is coming in is definitely it could be a Virgo that some of you are working with a Virgo or a Virgo is going to be coming in your life as someone as new love that could be coming in the second week or sometime in this month then we have the decision and as you make this decision you're going to be ending a situation okay and um, the energy of success is going to be coming out now some of you could be going in business with someone who is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn or um, you could be um, just um, basically working with this person whatever it is and however it is going to be it is just going to be working out in the best for you and this is going to be wonderful because what is going to be transpiring is that you can see that this person could be bringing some success whatever the decision that you make over this person it could be a new love or something like that that is coming in but it could also be someone in power that is about to help you and help you to become very successful and whatever is transpiring you're ending the situation with a negative situation that has been going on and definitely what you're going to be seeing is that the outcomes of this month is going to be you ending a burden that you have been carrying you're definitely going to be ending a burden that you have been carrying and this is really really good so whenever the, the, um, the ten of ones comes out 
um, as the last energy in a deck or in a reading what this is basically saying for you is that whatever the burdens that you have been carrying you are make you have make a decision to end this burden um, um, in the middle of the month you could make a decision to end this burden because you're realizing that whatever the burden that you were carrying or the situation that you were carrying um, has affected you in so um, so much ways that you basically decide to basically uh, make a decision to release yourself of this situation which is very good and very positive because what is going to be happening is that then and there you will be aligned with your own self and your own energy now the Empress is coming in and the Empress is really um, someone who is very very um, positive um, that is going to be coming in your life and basically helping you forward in a very very positive way now whenever this sort of energy comes in as you can see some of you are moving forward with a new love this new love could be a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn this is a man 45 years and older now it could be a new love but yet still it could be um, a manager or a boss or someone in a powerful position that is going to be helping you out to end the burdensome situation that you have been going in as we look at the fourth week what is happening in the fourth week is that definitely a negative situation lies and deceitfulness that has been transpired is definitely going to be coming to an end and here you're seeing success that is coming at you in a very very positive way whoever this person is whether it's someone in um, power or a management person as you look at the two energies is that these are earth people that is coming in to bring balance in your life and you're going to be successfully coming out of a situation so as I look at this reading it is very very much so a very positive reading because what is transpiring and happening basically is that there is a lot of situation that is coming to an end a lot of you are definitely moving forward as we see the energy is that a lot of you need to make decision whatever the decision that you guys need to make it's definitely coming up here because I'm seeing that you guys need to make a decision with something to do with your father or something to do with someone in power or something and, and conflicts or a situation and definitely you're going to be making the right decision some of you could be have to be um, choosing between two persons in love um, or choosing between two things that you love to do two of your passion whatever you choose and whatever decision you choose you're definitely going to be um, financially abundance um, because you have the energy of the Empress that comes up and this is going to be helping you to move forward so this is a beautiful reading for you Aquarians okay so um, as usual I've changed up um, the readings and things I decided to change up the readings and um, we are going to have three extra energies that is going to be coming out um, to definitely align you um, so um, abundance is definitely going to be coming out whatever the energy of the nine of cups some of you your wishes and your dreams could be coming through and that is going to be good for the extended reading you will know exactly what wishes and what dreams some of you need to work with the eel in the art chakra which is very very important the art chakra needs to be ill um, here you're going to be making a decision in this in the middle of the month sometimes in the month and here it is love um, so it is love begins love begins so obviously there was a situation that was transpiring and these are beautiful energies because it's all about the art chakra and it's all about ill and the art chakra and these are definitely wonderful energies that are coming up for you guys so it's very 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 um, positive um, your financial situation there is definitely going to be positive um, changes that is going to be coming up with your financial situation whatever the blocks there was changes is going to be definitely coming up with your financial situation so this is really wonderful and beautiful that is coming up 
now as usual you guys know that I work with um, the ascendance masters I'm working with the ascendance masters deck and the light work deck because this is definitely a monthly reading this reading is going to go for another hour on the extended so if you are interested in picking up the extent of this reading um, you can pick it up on my website what I'm also receiving is that definitely it's the healing of the heart chakra that is happening um, some of you your heart chakra is out of out of balance definitely definitely your heart chakra is out of balance um, you can also pick up the love reading whatever is transpiring you can also pick up the love reading um, for this month sometimes we have um, just a little love reading in the extended reading which um, is there but as usual there's always uh, um, the energy of you guys uh, basically can pick up the rest of uh, the reading and that is love money and everything that is going on in your life now let's look and see what is the animal spirit guide that is going to be coming out in um, this month for you guys so um, we are shifting the alignments of energy it's all about love it's all about wishes and dreams coming out it's all about healing the heart chakra which is very 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 important and um, how you can heal the heart chakra which is there are different ways of healing the heart chakra you can call upon Archangel Shamuel to come in and help you to align your heart chakra um, but you can also I say yum 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 and um, that will basically basically heal your art chakra um, so you have the energy of the dolphin okay the energy of the dolphin is so beautiful and it says this and that is true this and that is true okay this and that is true and this is the energy of the dolphin and it's coming out and this is the dolphin energy where um, you can listen to the sounds of the dolphin you can connect you can go on YouTube and listen to the sounds of the dolphin because this will help you to align your senses and this is going to be good let's see um, what the ascendance masters wants to come out for the Aquarians you have the gold and silver violet flame now this is a beautiful energy because your motto and affir affirmation for this month is going to be I am gold I am the gold and silver violet flame I am the gold and silver violet flame what is very nice is that you can always stop this video and you can align with the energies of this and you can be aware of uh, whatever is transpiring and coming out and this is going to be extremely extremely positive whenever you work with the gold and silver violet flame you can call upon Archangel Zachiel and Saint Germain and they are the keeper of uh, the violet flames to come in and transmute all negative energies so, in and around you so that you can vibrate in a very very positive way this is very good because I often use um, this energy and this is why I align people to try and use these energies because it's going to definitely definitely help them the last energy that we have here is that we have the darkness of the soul so some of you have to deal with the shadow side this is the shadow side this is the side where you are so um, caught up in the emotional aspect that you're bringing out the darkness of the soul where you're thinking to do um, horrible things to people where you have this energy that is coming up and this is what a lot of you are going to be dealing with so the energy the darkness of the soul I'm going to try and put up the information that you can use to heal yourself with this energy because um, this is um, going to be a time where you need to confront the darkness of the soul so ladies and gentlemen um, I want to say to you guys thank you so much for being here thank you for the wonderful positive energy vibration please remember that this reading is an extended reading 
for you guys it's about making choices making decision in this month whoever you are once you find in a balance and strength this is definitely going to be working out you have to go within and find in a balance and strength okay ladies and gentlemen I want to say to you namaste until next time